Okay, here we go. Second phase again. I'm going to need that health. I think I've got two, so I should have three, provided I get this. Okay, God. Okay, right. I've actually got quite a lot of health. God, you just don't get enough time. So if he comes over here, then I can just go over here. No! Rude. No, come over here. Please give me enough. No, <laughs> it's so hard. Please, what does this do? Okay, it's a quarter. A quarter. Okay, what's he doing now? Okay, we've we've repeated ourselves. We've repeated. Thankfully, I've, I've kind of discovered a bit of a cheat system into this one. Okay, I just need, I just need. No, no. I just need one more. No. <laughs> Do it again. I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. This isn't the worst boss fight I've ever had to do since Spyro reignited. What was it? No, it wasn't reignited. That's the new one. Um, Enter the Dragonfly. That was it. That was the worst boss fight in a kid's game I've ever had to play until this one. We're coming on half an hour. Half an hour of me doing this. I tell you what, it wouldn't actually be as bad if the the line ones, the one that I have to jump over, those are the worst ones because you can jump well in advance and still hit it, or you can jump too late and still hit it, but the range is so massive that it's very difficult to avoid. The one that skirts the floor is also pretty bad because it doesn't give you enough time to run across the board. If you're in, if you're on the wrong place, if you're not in the middle, then you can just you're just gonna get hit by it. It doesn't give you enough time to get to the safety platform, which is wrong. Oh my god, I think I've got to get it. I'm, I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yes! Oh, oh, one health. I had one health. I am the superpower. It is my destiny. I am the superpower. It is my destiny. Do you want to have another go at that line, Sunshine? This is literally the last thing that you're going to say as a video game character. Ah, oh, there it is. The doohickey. How did you know that that was a thing that we needed? Ooh, this is a pre-rendered cutscene from, like, Are the old fine? game. Be Ooh, God, Leon doesn't look as good. Where's Luger? He's a guest in his own dungeon. Good work! Why does it sound like that? What are we doing? Oh, okay, well, there it is. That, there it is, no there's the going. portal. It's unstable, we'll have to hurry. What are we waiting yes. for? Don't jump off the edge, or you'll have to redo the battle again. Oh no, is Leon gonna, like, sacrifice himself? Is Leon gonna get stuck there? Yep, there he is. What about the eggs? But... But he has the portal, right? He has the controller to... You unlock the cheesy ending Hollywood would have given you. Have a good chuckle. You gotta make it. You gotta make it through. Dad! Oh, okay. What's this? This is the Hollywood ending, apparently. Son, what's wrong? Dad? Wait, what? But how did you get here? Uh, I just walked downstairs and opened the basement door. This is Luger's house. 
Luger? What are you talking about, Bobby? Dinner's almost ready. Come on, your mom's waiting. You know, I'm sorry. Course, we always eat dinner together as a family. What? Okay, yeah, that is cheesy. Where are the eggs? What's Dad doing here? And how is it that we live in this house? Oh my is god, I hate... I hate it. In the blink of an eye, two alternate time planes can merge. Oh god, I hate it. Two planes merged as I passed through the portal? That means... Dad never got sucked into Luger's world! So Luger he's in a different... Got a hold of the beacon. ...dimension. That's why I don't have any of the eggs! Luger couldn't get here to steal them! Yes! Oh. That's disgusting. Even as a even as like a half human, half lizard thing. Don't do that. That's just nasty. Is he gonna actually have knowledge of it? I am gonna miss Reppy. Then again. Who knows what crazy new adventures are yet to come? Oh my god, that really was cheesy. That was painful. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put the controller down before I throw it at my monitor. We have a sip. Well, that was... What's that? It's 38 minutes. We're at 38 minutes. I don't know what time we're on for the video, but by golly, we're not at 38 minutes, I can tell you that much. And thankfully we have the most repetitive music that was played in the video game as the end credits. Fantastic. Love that a lot. So there we go, that was Scalar. Hmm. How to surmise, how to, how to sum up, how to break down the, I don't know how many sets there have been, but too many. <sighs> well, there's, to be fair though, if I start talking about this, it's just going to be stuff that you've heard all the time, you know, because it's the things that I've been complaining about the entire Let's Play. Poor combat, really kind of cheesy, over-the-top um, writing, uh, and and just speech in general. Um, the character designs were actually really interesting. The level design was actually really interesting. Um, the levels themselves actually turned out to be fairly boring, though, because as the game got progressively further and further into the uh, through the levels it was very clear that they were running out of ideas to pad it out even further. And I don't know really what the limitations are for games, or at least what they were back then. Because nowadays you can make a game and it can actually be quite short, but still very enjoyable. And I think that this game would have benefited from that in a lot of places, to at least cut out the majority of the ambushes. Especially when... Um, Especially when you, you base the final scene, the, f the final boss battle, as just this one big arena, it, it devalues the entire combat system. If it isn't bad enough already that you, you take a swing and you've got to wait half an hour for him to recover to then take the next swing, obviously an exaggeration, but to, to take into consideration the slow combat, to then put that into a into something that you have to use for the final boss battle instead of using very intricate puzzles which could have been part of it which it could have made for a much more interesting boss to to have a, a puzzle system that made i don't know the scenery hit him like boulders or have him fall into lava or have have the scalar punch back items that gets thrown at you instead of just running around, charging up the bombs, and then just slowly lit whittling away his health. It's, it's frustrating, especially when there's a second phase and you don't get a, uh, a checkpoint. It's just rude. I can hear the neighbor's uh, fire alarm going off.
I assume it's just them um, doing something, uh, smoking a little bit of something that, that might have caused a, a rather smoky atmosphere. They do that fairly frequently. It's gone off. So I'll assume that there was nothing actually wrong. Anyway, there we go, that was Scalar. Um, what I am going to do before we before we kind of finish off, actually, um, maybe I put this into a different one because I don't know how this is going to overwrite the save. I assume it'll allow me to just uh, load back into any level. It'll just throw me back into the map. Let's find out. That's That's my assumption anyway. It'll just throw me into the map and... What I want to do is I just want to buy the rest of the items because I want to I want to finish off, see if we get any kind of cutscene with Leon. Maybe I don't I doubt it, but you never know. Why not? I mean, I've already gone as far as to complete the game, collecting literally everything. I may as well go that one final step and purchase the last of the shop items. So we've got extra camouflage and we have one final bomb container, which I suppose would have been useful for the final boss, but I didn't know. I didn't know that I was going to need it. I'm going to let this one run, see if he says anything. No, that's it. It's, it just leaves you with a blank menu. Alright, well, there we go then, I suppose. Yep, that's it. Done. <laughs> I suppose I'm going... I'm, I'm too used to modern games granting you lots of New Game Plus content uh, that I kind of uh, expected this game to also do the same thing. But it's it's an old, you know third-person puzzle platformer made for children. So I, I suppose I can't really expect too much um, post-game unlocks, you know? Anyway, I do hope you've enjoyed this set and the Let's Play. And do join me again next time for my next child-friendly Let's Play. Uh, don't know what I'm going to be doing yet, uh, but I do have... Oh, actually, no, tell a lie. I do know exactly what I'm going to be playing next. And I'm going to give you a little hint. It's got um, Egyptian themes. It's, 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 it is thematic towards Egyptian culture. And that is as far as I'll go. So keep a lookout for that. I hope you've enjoyed yourself, and do let me know if you did, or even if you didn't, I don't care. And see you next time. Ta-ta.